Hello, I'm Graham Elwood, and welcome to another addiction. Addiction. <laughs> another addiction <laughs> of uh, political vigilante. I'm recording this today, uh, the night, it's January 20th, the inauguration happened today, and as soon as he got sworn in, his team uh, immediately scrubbed um, the whitehouse.gov site, um, of any mentions of climate change, civil rights, immigration, and healthcare. Um, I'm referring to an article by Sarah David from complex.com, but this was all over. Everyone was tweeting about this because everybody immediately noticed it. Um, now that Donald Trump has officially been sworn in as the 45th president of the United States of America, he's not my president, I will never acknowledge it. I'm just reading this article. His campaign to diminish human rights came swifter than we expected. With the former reality star's team assuming control of whitehouse.gov, part of the presidential transition has been wiping the website of any mentions of civil rights, climate change, and health care. In comparison, the site had issues tabs devoted to these topics under Barack Obama's team. So, there's no more, we're not playing any more games now. This is the reality. This idiot is in charge. Um... Anyone who was like, oh, that was just campaign rhetoric. He was just saying crazy stuff to charge up the base or get elected or shake up the system. No, no, we know for real now. We, we, well, we've known since the election and who his cabinet appointees are. Um, and now it's for real. You know, <laughs> if you want information about climate change, oh, him and the climate change gang, they don't agree about it. They don't think it climate change exists you know he, what did he say in the campaign it was a conspiracy concocted by the chinese government and then 97 percent of the all of the world scientists from every country all over the planet all just fell in line with the chinese conspiracy yeah totally makes sense um you know you need any information on health care he's he's going to replace it with something better Obamacare, I'm getting rid of it. It's going to be terrific. That's what he said. But what, how? It's just going to be terrific. That's his whole thing. But how, specifically, tell us how it's going to be terrific. It's going to be terrific because I say so. It's terrific. I was talking to one moron today on Facebook who literally said after the recount, actually, um, Trump won the popular vote. No. No, he didn't. They're just... It's like from the lead paint. Like, I should do a whole thing on the lead paint thing. In the 70s, lead paint got really bad, and that's why the crime rate was so bad, and then they um, passed a law to get rid of it, and then the crime rate went down. So there's still, I think some of his supporters just have had way too much lead paint. They're older. they are still kind of got that lead paint brain, and they're out of their goddamn minds. Um, can't learn about anything about civil rights on this site. Of course, Trump was just recently on MLK Day uh, insulting John Lewis, representative from Georgia, John Lewis, who also was a civil rights leader, like marched in the civil rights as a young man in the 60s, and Trump was talking shit about him. Well, what, what are his immigration? Is there an immigration tab? Just, what's he going to have? Just to click on a huge wall, big old wall, and, and Mexico, he said recently, Mexico's still going to pay for it. How are you going to do this? How? If I just came to your house and said, "Here, you're gonna, you're gonna pay my, you're gonna pay my rent," and you're just gonna go, "No, I'm not." It's that simple. No, you're paying for it. No, that's it. It's over. There's no Mexico's not paying for it. Oh. he got rid of the um, issues about LGBT. So that's done. So. Gay marriage that was passed a little over a year ago, a year and a half ago. That's probably he's going to try to take that done. In all fairness, as some have noted, back to this article, the new site is poorly written and researched as well as underdeveloped, so it's possible that these scrubs are an oversight. Plus, it's standard protocol for incoming administrations to delete all existing materials on the official site. But given Trump's divisive and inflammatory stances, it feels like the first step toward a distinctively less great America. Yeah, man, it's happening. It's on. Like, buckle up. 
marching and stuff is great. I'm all for that. Get out there and protest. But we need to stop this guy at every turn. I read an article that was like, you know, we need to actually work with him because he's he's easily swayed, and we can, you know, we can. He don't get don't get mad at him. Just agree with him because when you get mad at him, then he sends the tweets. Out. No, no, this is this is fucking dangerous, man. Anything good that's happened, any like, you're gay. You, you're 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 worried about and climate change is here. It's here. It's happening. I'm going to do a whole other piece about how it's the hottest year. in a, Again, we've broken another heat record. So this is just what it is, and everyone has to do something about it. Look, he's now he's in, now there's no, he can, he feels and, and can do what he wants. So we have to stop him at every turn. We can't play nice with this guy. Go back to the video I recorded about using the Tea Party's playbook. That's what we need to do. Stop them at every turn. Find out who your Congress people and uh, senators are. Find out who they are and contact them. And find on the local level. Just say no on the local level. If you run a business, if you are part of a school, just say no. We're going to be more inclusive. Uh, USC campus said it's going to be a safe haven for, for like... They're not gonna. They're gonna. You can't go arrest people that are um, undocumented, or when he starts this Muslim registry or whatever. Just say no. Do not go along with it on any level. You can't. This is insanity, and it's starting now. It's gonna be a long four years. But if we don't pay attention, if we let it slip, or we just hope the the Democrats that are in office are gonna do something about it, uh uh-uh. uh, and hold the Republicans accountable. Hold everyone accountable. Don't let this stand. This is Graham Melwood for The Political Vigilante.